Olden Aki here. After a long hiatus, I've decided to start recording again occasionally. This video is my successful solo run on the Dreaming City uh, weekly story quest, this one being the Oracle Engine. So here we are getting ready to go over to the Dreaming City. However long that takes. Alright, before we start, I just want to show you that I am running uh, my Warlock Dawn Blade with a Chattering Bone Pulse Rifle as my Kinetic, the Black Scorpion 4SR as my Energy Weapon, and my good old Thunderlord as my Power Weapon. And before I came in, oh, and by the way, I'm using Lunafaction uh, Lunafa Faction Boots uh, with Empowering Rift set up so that I get longer range when I'm in a rift. There we go, getting our Oracle Engine quest, if you will. And I decided to pull up the Ascendant Challenge and maybe take a couple of uh, dailies. The first one being 100 kills and the second one being uh, the uh, Lost Sector in Rialza, whatever, the, you know, the, the Star Chamber thingy. Anyway, we're off and running. Now, I, I had gone off, off world to another planet and loaded up on ammo, but just to show you what you should do before you start this thing, go ahead and rally to the flag. And I notice this chest here and I'm getting hammered for it. Anyway, let's go get the quest. It's actually like a I'm weekly weekly story in the Dreaming City. It's it rewards powerful gear. And one thing I did note is that uh, when I rally to the flag, I get a I get my super, and but when I come into the to the quest of the story, the super's gone. At least I can keep my ammo. Take and command the observatory. I've always grumbled about that. So, the first thing we have to do is we have to get rid of three locks on the uh, route to the spine, if you will. And to do that, we need to get, uh, oh, I just heard a little bit of a, a sound bite there, right? We need to take out three mini bosses. I grabbed the sports cannon here. We need to take out three mini bosses, three taken yellow bars. There we go. And the result will be an orb that we can use to unlock one of the locks. There's three of them total. I'm not a very good shot with this thing. Okay, there we go. I was getting a little feedback there. I hope I don't get that when I check the recording out. Notice that I'm, I'm keeping the trigger down until I hear a little click. That gives me max power. When I hear that click, I get max power. And for the yellow bars, you really want to do that. And at the end, as we, we shall see here in a few minutes. Alright, notice that I didn't bother to get the first orb, I just let it lie where it was. I'm grabbing the second one and I'm going to go ahead and take down one of those locks. Also note that 
other than uh, bad guys that are in my way, I'm just avoiding getting into a firefight with anybody other than the yellow bars. Okay, there's one lock is down. And let's go up here and get the second orb, or actually the first one that I that I was able to take from the yellow bar. Always running into rocks. there and watch that second one go away. There we go, that's the second one. And the third one is with a yellow bar that's up here a ways. And I don't have my Scorch Cannon anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and use my trusty Thunderlord. Alright, notice I'm checking out where he is. And there he is. I hate when they zigzag like that. Yeah, there's, there's too many bad guys around that orb, so... Sometimes you can just go get the orb and go. Other times you've got to get rid of a few baddies. Okay, there we go. Looking around to see if there's any ammo there. And I'm just kind of getting, staying away from a firefight. Now I will have to take out an ogre and a couple of those scorchy guys. There we go. Can't do that unless I drop the orb. No, ogre's down. Ooh. Let's see. I noticed I, I was taking gas there, so I just I just went into hiding there momentarily. I'm trying to run this without dying, which I did succeed in doing in this run. All right, okay, the gate is down. The barrier is down. On to the next. So we are moving towards the spot. Well, we're at the spot of Kears. Oh, look, another scorch can, which is a good thing. It makes this a little bit easier. All right, we're gonna have a couple of Taken uh, out there. Centurions, I think they are. Anyway, they're a pain in the butt. Of course, we're gonna get charged by night. They came out and exploders. Take them out. There'll be another night coming here soon. There he is. He won't stop. Okay. And then we use the rest of the uh, rest of the scorch can uh, cannon ammo to take out the uh, exploders. And, and if they're, it's easier when they're bunched up a little. Of course, in this particular run, they're not. Ooh, he was running that. Okay. No, I'll just take them out with my false rifle. No big deal. Ooh, yeah, there's one more. I didn't see him, but I could hear him. Next up is a Shrieker out here on the uh, little bridge, guarding the bridge, I guess. Very easy to take that Shrieker out. Alright, these rifts or boosts or whatever the heck they are uh, can catch you unawares. 
So I'm being a little bit careful. They'll, they'll knock you off the platform and uh, take you down, if you will. So I was just being a little careful there, instead of trying to be cute and flying over everything. Alright, we should have some guys, some taken guys appearing. Take them out real quick. Okay. Well, there's a marksman over there. Take an acolyte, I guess. Got some ammo. Don't need to work because I got my super already. Mini boss there guarding, guarding the bridge. Okay. He's done. And we'll have uh, some more taken on the other side here. The ones you really got to watch out for are those shielded uh, legionnaires or whatever they're called. The marksmen up there. And then we got another shrieker up here. You can just see it. Just taking my time with it. There we go. Two more centurions down. That was pretty easy. Just because they were, those two were packed together. There's a wizard up there. Come on back out. There we go. Sometimes the wizard will go off to the right and hide and then send his little dorky uh, thing with Bob's out. Alright, we gotta take out that yellow bar to get the orb to get into the uh, to get into the temple. There we go. It's a little clean up here. this huge, two huge taken ogres that we have to take out to successfully complete the mission. And as we take the health down, we get to a certain point and ads will spawn. And notice what I'm doing here. I'm holding the right trigger down and I'm waiting to hear that click. As soon as I hear the click, I know that I'm at full charge. This wasn't particularly a great run. I missed this guy a few times. Yeah, here come the ads. So there's, there's about, I don't know, I don't know what, almost, I think there's about a half a dozen cannons in here. So there's plenty of ammo. And if things got really tight, ooh, Things got really tight, I could always pull out the Thunder Lord and take him out like a regular yellow bar. Oop, got another one behind me. This thing just knocked you all around. get back to that scorch cannon that I just went by, so I'm going to ooh and here's a, here's the second one. Again you get the you get the first one down health down a bit and the second one will appear. My 
as well start working on him. I assume it's a him. Well, I'm in a little bit of a squeeze here, so let's, let's do a bit of a tactical withdrawal. Get back over here. Oh, geez. Taking gas. I try to use these vertical posts as much as possible for cover. And this is all just rinse and repeat. When the ads start to really bother me, I will try to blast them away. Like this guy right here. Get out of there. Now being a level 750, light level 750 helps. There we go, get the next one. I can withstand probably a little bit more punishment than those at lower light levels. Still got plenty of shots left here. So I'm run around here and I thought I would be left alone there momentarily, but nope, the ads are after me. And again, knowing that there's more cannons out here. I'm not too worried about taking out the ads with the cannon in hand. Oh, where'd the big guy go? He actually went back down. Alright, gotta go find another cannon. Oh, I heard something. Things are really bad when you're in a semi cha challenge trying to do a a jump puzzle. Not paying attention to them. Alright, let's go take a few of these guys out. Oh, taking gas. This this was a part where I thought I might be in trouble because I couldn't quite get back upstairs. to expect in this and uh, the route to take great, great and I'll, I'll strategies and stuff adventure. like that. This is not too difficult a quest, this, this weekly quest on the Dreaming City. It's not too difficult at all. I never tried to go back out here. I'm not going to try today. Even, even solo. So, I mean... Even though I, I had myself set up as a Dawn Blade, I never used my Super and uh, Lunification Boots with, uh, you know, with Empowering Rift for additional range. I never bothered to use my, uh, my uh, Rift. I didn't feel the need to, so I just used the weapons at hand and was able to get through this fairly easily. I got a little down health, if you will, a couple of times, but as soon as I saw myself going to a red red health, I, I tried to retreat, get myself in a place where I could get my health back before attacking again. 
Anyway, that is the weekly quest of the Oracle Engine on Dreaming City. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you in your quest. This is Olenaki signing off. Take care, everybody.